Okay, welcome to this video, uh, just showing the basics of how to make a graph in Google Docs or Google Sheets. So for the purpose of this kind of demonstration, uh, I have a simple table that I made looking at some measurements that I made up about uh, types of coins, pennies and dimes, and, and their diameter, and their mass, and their edge texture. Um, so I, I created this table inside of Google Docs, and now I just want to make a graph of this. So my first step is to copy that table. So I'm just selecting the data, and then I can right-click on it and copy, or what I like to do is just um, select it and then Control-C on my computer. If you have an Apple, that would be command C, I believe. So I copy the data. Now I need to co I need to open Google Sheets. So I open a new tab, I go to this waffle menu over here in Google Apps, and I pick from what I want to do, which is Google Sheets. I can make a new sheet, new blank sheet, select any one of these cells. And for me it's control V or paste. It'd be command V if you're using a Mac. And I've got the same table. Formatting is a little bit different because the the width of the uh, columns is a little bit different. That doesn't really matter for what I'm doing, so I'm not going to spend too much time editing that. In fact, not at all. Now I need to decide with this, what do I want to graph, right? Well, I do want to graph the types of coin, and those would be my labels in my graph. I do want to graph the diameter and the mass, but I'm not going to graph edge texture, because that's not really a, um, easy to graph uh, along with the others. These are qualitative. Um, so these are qualitative measurements, smooth and rough versus the qualitative measurements of diameter and mass with my units of millimeters and grams. So I'm just going to highlight or select those cells that have the qualitative data and their descriptors. And I go up to Insert and Chart from the pull-down menu. And when I do that, it's going to go to some defaults here. The default chart type for Google Sheets is a column chart, otherwise known as a bar graph. And you can see it's made a bar graph there. If I click on this little arrow, uh, I can choose other types of charts from either suggested or from all the types that are available inside. I actually think that a column chart or bar graph is a decent choice for this data. But it's put penny and dime separate from each other, so now I've, I'm basically with this graph comparing the diameter of a penny to the mass of a penny and the diameter of a dime to the mass of a dime. That's not what I want to do. So I need to go and, and rearrange that. I don't want penny and dime to be the values down here. I want this to be diameter and this to be mass. So I just need to switch what is being used. Uh, is it making the graph based on rows or columns? And to do that, I click on this box right here, switch rows, columns. And by clicking that, you can see how now penny and dime um, become values inside and diameter and mass become the values on the x-axis. That's what I wanted. So now I can compare the diameter of penny to dime and I can compare the mass of penny to dime side by side. That's what I want to have, right? So this graph is looking a lot better, right? I could edit my title. The easiest way to do that is just to click inside of this text box and change the title. And I could just call it something simple, comparison of, um, comparison of diameter and mass um, of coins, right? Uh, it could be, I could spend more time being more elaborate, but for this example, that's fine. Uh, note that it, when I did that, when I clicked inside here to change the text, in the chart editor, it went over to the customize menu instead of the setup. We were in the setup menu before, where we had the choice of chart type and um, how we wanted to format this. Uh, so looking at some more features inside of the customize, another thing I want to have inside of this is um, I need a vertical axis label. There's no label, it's just numbers with no label. So in chart and axis titles, I select here. Uh, the title I just did, I need to add a vertical axis title because there is none. And I can type it in here. This would be um, measurements of coins. And it's still got spell check so people like me can spell everything correct. All right, measurements of coins. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some units in there. Uh, even though they are kind of labeled inside the graph itself. So now I've got um, a graph inside of here. I'm done. I can close the chart editor. Now this graph, I can resize this graph wherever I want to, right? I can also um, right-click on it, and I can copy this graph. I can insert it. If I go here to Chart Tools, Edit, I can delete, download, publish, copy, all kinds of things. I'm going to copy the chart. Go into my Google Doc, and I'm going to insert my chart right here. Um, 
by right clicking, I go to paste. And it's going to ask me when I paste the chart whether to link it to the spreadsheet or paste it on link. Uh, if you link it to the spreadsheet, any changes you make to that chart in the future also get changed in this Google Doc, which is kind of nice. But the catch is, if you share this Google Doc with somebody else, like me, so I can grade it as an assignment, then I need access to the spreadsheet as well as to the document. To avoid all of that confusion, let's just paste them as unlinked, right? So it's going to paste that chart as an image instead of an active file that it's, it's referencing inside. So make sure you paste that as unlinked. I hit paste, and there's my graph, right? Um, and if I needed to make changes to it, I could always go in here, make whatever changes, copy it again, and then delete this and paste it again. But that's how you insert a, a uh, graph into a Google Doc and make it Google Sheets. Hope that was helpful.